Ever wondered how a simple change in fonts can transform your website's entire vibe? Today, we're diving into the captivating world of typography. From classic serifs to modern sans serifs, elegant scripts to attention-grabbing display fonts. Get ready to discover the art of choosing the perfect fonts for your website. In this video, we'll walk you through the top 10 fonts that can transform your website's design, readability, and overall user experience. So let's get started. Fonts are crucial for creating an awesome user experience, conveying brand values, and completing your website's design. We've compiled a list of 10 of our favorite fonts for websites to give you a jumping off point. With all 10, free to download from Google Fonts. Number one, Lato. It's a wonderful sans serif font for websites. It's clear, warm, and strong, and very readable. In fact, this is the font we use on our website. It pairs nicely with Open Sans. Number two, Merryweather. Merryweather was designed to be read on screens, making it one of the best choices for readability. It's a serif font that comes with plenty of styles to choose from. Number three, Allegria. Comes with a classic look. It was designed for literature, making it perfect for longer bodies of text. It's a nicely rhythmic and dynamic font that pairs well with Roboto. Number four, Arvo. It's a smooth, flexible looking font with its roots in geometric patterns. It's an easy to read serif font that has a traditional vibe without feeling stuffy or boring. Number five, Amatic SC. This lovely hand-drawn font is perfect for headings. It's simple and playful. We particularly like it because it doesn't sacrifice readability for style. Number six, Josephine Slap. Josephine Slap is a modern stylish font that's perfect for bringing a sophisticated tone to any website. It works well for main copy and will look good next to headings in Amatic SC. Number seven, Bowlby One SC. Bowlby One SC is designed for headings and only comes in one style. We don't recommend using it for your main copy. If you want impactful bulky tiles with slightly rough edges, then Bowlby One SC is a perfect choice. Number eight, Dancing Script. If you want a handwritten font style that's sophisticated but also friendly and fairly casual, check out Dancing Script. It's got a nice spontaneous feel, ideal if you're aiming for classy without feeling stuffy. When used in headings, Dancing Script pairs nicely with Lato. Number 9. Playfair Display SC For headings with a traditional feel, Playfair Display SC is a strong and versatile font style. We especially like the subtle differences between the standard and italic lettering. And number 10. Poppins Poppins' use of curves in its shaping gives it an open, friendly feel. It has a whopping 18 different styles to choose from, ranging from very thin and subtle to heavy, bold designs. Our favorite is Extra Bold 800, which will really make your headings pop. Now, why are website fonts important? Your font speaks volumes about your brand. Different font styles communicate different subconscious messages to people, which can help you build brand identity. Online users are quick to judge. It only takes half a second to form an opinion of a website, and 94% of that judgment is design-related. That means fonts are vital for convincing visitors that this is the right page for them, because fonts are a big part of a site's web design. As users, we read between the lines to understand what different fonts mean, and quickly judge websites based on the font style we see. Specific font styles can convey different messages to people, such as trust, stability, strength, elegance and sophistication, and creativity. The right font can create a better user experience. User experience is about making your visitors as virtually comfortable and happy as possible. Excellent user experience should be the end goal of your web design and content choices. Why? Well, the happier your visitors are, the longer they're likely to stay on your page, and the more they'll engage with your website or business. Good user experience could result in more clicks, conversions, shares, or repeat visits to your site, helping you succeed online. And a key part of user experience? You guessed it choosing a readable on-brand font. So what do different fonts for websites mean? Just as different colors have different emotional and psychological effects on people, different font designs are able to convey different characteristics. This infographic gives you a clear idea on how different font designs have definite connotations and meanings. It quickly becomes apparent that fonts aren't interchangeable. Imagine trying to promote a strong modern brand using the elegant font Bickham script, for example. Using this infographic guide, it's not hard to pick out the most suitable font design for how you want people to think of your brand. And now, the top 5 personality types. There are 5 main types of personalities when it comes to font designs. Think about your brand or website, and which personality suits it best as we go through each one. 
Serif fonts can convey tradition, respectability, reliability, and comfort. Script fonts can convey elegance, affection, and creativity. Display fonts, on the other hand, can convey friendliness, fun, uniqueness, and expressiveness. Modern fonts can convey strength, style, chic, progressiveness, and sans serif fonts can convey stability, objectiveness, clean and modern minimalism. What do different fonts for websites mean? Different fonts carry different meanings and create different emotions in readers. Think about your brand and decide what personality you want to convey. People judge your fonts before they read your content. So make sure your font matches your brand identity. And this is how you should choose a font for your website. Start with your brand. A font may look nice, but if it doesn't match your brand, it's pointless. Always start with your brand before making design choices. What personality does your brand have? Who's your target audience? Once you know the answers to questions like these, you can pick out which font personality your brand aligns with and set about choosing the perfect font style. Number two, pick fonts for your readers. Try to strike a balance between your own personal taste and the needs of your audience. You may be head over heels in love with the font Hannah Lay, for example, but think about your readers. Does this font suit their needs too? In the case of Hannah Lay, its busy block letters and rough edges may delight younger audiences, but present a struggle for older readers. Some questions to ask when trying to understand your audience include What is the ideal age group? What is the preferred gender? What profession is he or she in? And does he or she have more or less disposable income? Number three, consider readability. While it's important for fonts to look good, it's also important that they're readable. Often, we like a font because it's readable, not just because it looks nice. So try to pick a font that not only represents your brand values, but is also enjoyable to read. Stay away from totally unreadable fonts, no matter how visually stunning they may be. Some fonts, such as dense, blocky styles or quirky handwritten designs, can be tricky to read when overused on a web page. For this reason, they usually work best as headline fonts. Always choose an easy-to-read font for longer copy. Number four, put your font through its paces. Before you commit to a font, see how it looks in all its different forms, sizes, and weights. The weight of a font determines how thick or thin the lines are. How does it look in different sizes? What do the uppercase and lowercase letters look like? How does it look in italics? How does it look when bold? What do the characters look like? For example, are numbers and punctuation easy to read in this font? Which weight would look best on your website? As an example, the font style Cedarville Cursive is a beautiful handwritten script, but the uppercase G may not be to your liking, or you may prefer the traditional ampersand rather than the simple plus icon used. It's always worth checking small details like this. Number five, explore font pairing and hierarchy. Often you will pair fonts on your website, using more than one to create a better visual experience. When you pair fonts, you wanna create a visual harmony. And although it's important for the fonts to contrast, you don't want them to overpower each other and cause conflict on the screen. When choosing which fonts to pair together, you need to think about font weight, font style, font color, font size. For example, if you found a serif font for your website, there may be a sans serif version that will complement it perfectly. When you are pairing more than one font on a website, you need to make sure that each font has a purpose, usually to create a hierarchy within your content. A font hierarchy is effectively an organization system that categorizes your content and tells the reader which information is important and which is secondary. For example, you may choose to use a large, strong, bold font for your headings to draw the eye and capture users' attention. You can then opt for smaller and softer fonts for your body text, which are often easier to read for larger chunks of copy. Your font hierarchy makes it easier for users to read your content and tells them exactly where to look for certain types of information. Number six, use WebSafe fonts. Our last tip is to use WebSafe fonts. A WebSafe font is one that is universally installed across all devices, which results in faster loading speeds for your website. This keeps your readers happier as they don't have to wait so long for your content to load and is also beneficial for your website's SEO rankings. And now the seven deadly sins of choosing a font. Avoid tacky fonts such as Comic Sans. Don't use messy fonts that are hard to read. Use a line height that's 150% of the font size you're using. Don't use too many font designs. Choose two or three maximum. Don't use too many font colors. Pick one or two brand colors. Don't pick font sizes at random. We recommend 16 pixels for main copy. And don't forget to include white space. Now, here are some useful resources for choosing fonts. Whether you need a reliable place to download your chosen font style, or you're simply searching for more inspiration, 
here is a helpful collection of resources to get you started. Some reliable font libraries are Google Fonts, it's open source, free fonts for you to browse and download, Adobe Fonts, fonts for those with a Creative Cloud subscription, My Fonts, free and paid fonts, you choose the license type you need at checkout, and Wildtype, free and paid fonts with a focus on creative designs. And here's some inspiration for you. 50 elegant font designs, Canva's list of stylish fonts, and how to choose a color scheme. Learn how to pick the right font color. Some tools for you to use. We have coolers.co, easy to use color scheme generator, color mine website colors, view your color scheme on a demo landing page, web aim contrast checker, make sure your font and background colors are readable. Fonts are important. They convey meaning and can make or break your brand identity. People judge your fonts before they've read a single word of your content. So picking the best font style is key to making that vital first impression. Now that you know why fonts are important and which ones suit your brand the most, you're ready to start picking your very own font styles. We'd love to know which fonts you chose, so drop us a comment letting us know your favorites. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more design tips and tutorials. And don't forget to check out the articles linked in the description for further insights. Until next time, keep designing.